I am sending a letter to Sonny Perdue, the head of Secretary of Agriculture. Deforestation alone accounts for one-fifth of the greenhouse gases. Logging companies in the United States are responsible for this, and if they want to keep cutting down trees, they should plant new trees in order to reverse the CO2 to O2 losses. It's in Sonny's best interest to make sure that the United States agriculture is safe and sound, especially after cutting down too many trees, which causes the air quality to keep degrading. My target audience are public and private landowners that own space with potential to grow trees that will help take out the carbon out of the atmosphere and make up for the carbon that has been emitted. I'm asking Sonny to ask Congress to pass a law that states that so for every tree you cut down, you replant one tree in equal size and grandeur. I want to start by offering a definition from one of my sources. This is a fact discovered in the environmental science field that is very important to measure how to achieve quality of air. Gross primary production, GPP, is the uptake of carbon in photosynthesis by foliage of trees in the forest from the atmosphere. Carbon losses as a result of atmospheric respiration. RA and loss of volatile organic C, VOC from the foliage reduced this uptake to net primary production, NPP. I am uh, citing this from Rita Olson, 465. Forests and jungles are important and must be replanted after being shredded for monetary gain. Does Sunny know that 250 billion tons of carbon dioxide have been filled up in our atmosphere? And that there needs to be 700 square kilometers of forest planted for this to be con contained safely. These stats are from Jeremy Rifkin 318, which I've cited. The climate and great regrowth rate of trees in other countries are dropping the rates on the local United States private timber resale. This makes the private public prefer to sell their land for recreational public use instead of keeping acres where logging is not productive or profitable as they only have slow growing trees in America of the United States. Sonny, you will benefit from using the land for the good of the American public. CO2 emissions made on federal land has been re recorded as 23.7% from 2005 to 2014. Oliver Morton, 193, in the United States. And I believe that the Secretary of Agriculture must take these recordings into consideration when decided such drastic measures as cutting even more public land trees. The Secretary of Agriculture might find the solution more promising as a business agreement having the logging company sell their logging land in order to preserve the environment and air quality for more profit because their lands are not good for growing trees but they are good for recreational purposes such as public parks and they'll make more money from selling their land to Sonny Perdue would be in charge of taking this providing 867 billion dollars in incentives to the farmers of our country participate in reforestation of their farmland from Jeremy Rifkin 336. Sonny must promise to give back to nature by planting more trees after logging the fire danger areas that have been ordered for cutting by Trump. Since the liability to the public and government is estimated at 30 billion because of wildfires, this money can go back into planting or replanting the trees that have been cut down. So I believe that it would be $897 billion 
and incentives to farmers from the 30 billion that have been saved of liability. I believe that this is money saved which can be used to purchase planting of trees in other areas of the United States or used as incentives to farmers for doing just that. Profit from food, wood and other wood related products is down from 1.2 billion as of 2005 to 710 million dollars as of 2010 and this profit margin continues to grow. And this is from At War in the Northern Woods, The Economist. This is good news for the air quality in the United States. Sonny, I believe that if this 1.2 billion was offered in exchange for the logging company's land, then they would appreciate this deal far better than watching their timber resell becoming less and less sought after along with the inability to regrow the trees fasten. Mature trees have a larger GPP in the uptake of carbon. They can photosynthesize up to 60 to 70 percent when studies it as individuals. In comparison, a standard tree on average doesn't grow above 50 percent when studied as part of the population of a forest. Paclav's Mill 243. Northeastern United States as well as Alaska contain the best black spruce growing conditions which are trees that generate 70% GPP in carbon intake. These are areas where the Department of Agriculture should focus their efforts for growing trees. This is more feasible than trying to convince loggers not to log. As the climate is not the best for tree regrowth in the United States, the logging for profit incentives for chopping down the trees is much less than the incentives for selling their land for tree replanting. So if not for the 897 billion, at least we can offer 1.2 billion in timber resale profit loss and offer that for the, their land to become recreational land. Bribing the farmers to give up some of their farming land to plant trees would be a bit more costly, of course, but as long as at least the logging companies start selling their land for a bigger profit, then selling their timber outweighs the obvious market costs, then the feasibility should be nearing 100% possible. Sonny, I ask you now to ask the farmers and Congress with incentives to plant trees on their land and take back from the loggers what they will not be able to profit on regardless. I believe the timeline should be till 2025 or until the 700 square kilometers have been planted. <clears throat> or at least the, the applications to submit and um, to take the incentives to replant the trees on public land and to sell land in order to produce more recreational parks instead of more logging.